So imagine you're typing a question into Google, maybe something about how to date as a single mom, and YouTube pops up with some useful suggestions for you. It asks, are you looking for don't date a single mom? And you're like, what? What's the problem with dating single moms? Hi, I'm Amy Waterman, a dating and relationship expert with yourbrilliance.com. And in this video series, I give you the short answer to love's biggest questions. So no matter what you're like, whether you're a brunette or you're blonde, whether you're curvy or slim or outgoing or shy or Anglo or Latina or born again or Jewish, there will be a large and vocal group of men who will never date a woman like you. And they'll have all sorts of reasons for not dating you, but usually it comes down to an ex. Once upon a time, they dated a woman who was just like you, and she was a real piece of work. You know, they gave her everything and she was nothing but a user. So they decided never again. The human brain is designed to jump to that sort of conclusion. Like we have one bad experience with shrimp say, and we never eat shrimp again. And that's normal. But we also have a prefrontal cortex that reminds us that our personal experience is not universal. So like I personally don't like shrimp, but I can understand that other people find shrimp delicious. And I'm not going to spend my life warning people off shrimp just because I find it disgusting. And similarly, I actually don't know what half my friends find so irresistible about the men they've chosen to marry. It's like, I like their husbands, but personally, I wouldn't marry them. And that's okay. Who we love is an incredibly personal choice, even more personal than what we like to eat. Where we run into problems is when people think that their own personal dating choices aren't personal. They should be universal. So men who think that not only are, say, brunettes unattractive, but no one should ever, ever, ever date a brunette. And these men often come up with lots of various reasons why brunettes are bad news. And some of them may even appear to be based in science, like this idea that natural blondes have a higher level of estrogen, which makes them more feminine. But at the end of the day, we date who we want to date, not the people we're told we should date. So why don't some men want to date single moms? Well, it's because that's their personal preference. You know, they have their own reasons and none of us have to care. So what you need to know if you're a single mom is that any man who says, I don't date single moms, is disqualifying himself from your affections. He has a right to his opinion and you have a right to love. And if somebody makes generalizations about you based on the fact that you're a woman or you're a brunette or you're curvy or you're mature or you're a single mom or just whatever, that's prejudice, right? It's designed to diminish you. And that's not a game you have to play. For more dating tips, make sure to subscribe to our channel and let me know if you've got any questions you'd like me to answer in the comments. See you next time.